All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Just had a glorious victory. Let's talk to everybody if we can still. Valdis, will you not stay a moment longer, Eivor? I should not linger. My banner folk await my return. I understand. Take care, Valdis. You fought well and won yourself a worthy king. I did, didn't I? Take care, Eivor. Thank you. Okay, so. We just sort of cleared out and raided everything here, huh? Oh, whoa. Wow, okay. There's stuff there we can get, so why don't we fast travel back before we go to Ranvi? Okay. Um, can I not, can I make that and not die? <laughs> Never mind, it just sent me the other direction. God, I love the way this cloak looks when it's upgraded. Look at that, it's amazing. I should probably start up trying to upgrade the horse's stamina. But we can do that when we get home, yeah? Because we do have a stable, thankfully. Oh, that's a lot of wolves. Are there at least friendly soldiers here? Yes, there are. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Allies are coming. Oh. Yeah. Didn't really need them. Um, what else is there? Something over there. Deep in the sword sleep. Just piling up corpses to throw out. Like Jesus, man. Oh, there's a whole lot of stuff here. Question is, how do I get into it? Yeah, should have figured that wasn't gonna do it. How the fuck? Is there a door somewhere? Ah. ingots. Lovely. Is this all that's worthwhile in this uh, place? <sighs> yeah, but got everything. So let's go back to Ranvi. Oh, wow. We got a couple of missions here. Return to Haytham. Or Haytham. Okay, I'm not sure what Hytham needs from us other than the medallions and stuff that we've taken from the dead, but we'll see. 
Actually, how many how many nickel ingots do I have? Inventory. Cause I don't know if I want to upgrade the axe first or the uh, or the shield. I have two, and I need three. What the hell's the door? Let's talk to Hyphen first. Oh, here it is. You required my assistance? Here. This marks few members of the Order. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude. I want you to have this. Poison there strike. are more meda- I can coat my blades in poison now? Oh my god, that's great. Wait. That's what I thought. Okay. I have to go. Then go in peace. Thanks, man. Alright, let's go, uh, talk to Randy. And then I think we might return to Asgard. We'll see. Hey, Eivor. Hey. Hey, Eivor. Oh, we've got a letter at the at our uh, stationery. Eat that wretched hat of yours. Do you not Roland Holger? Why all this shouting? That's a. Not... What's the letter say first? We'll deal with that later, or in a moment, whatever. From Soma. That's a damn fine stable we have now. <sighs> Let's see. Lord, uh, look at it. You entered my mind Lord, today. Lord. I was thinking Lord, about how I felt you. when I, I lost Grant Bridge, the anger, the doubt. You helped me reclaim Silence, my city, but you. oh shit, it's I demand that this there. matter be settled here and now. In a have moment. Patience, Rowan. There is a time and a place for such uh, disputes. <laughs> you did much more than that. You helped me reclaim what I had lost in myself today. My people, my city, they are stronger than ever. Uh, and I am a proud leader once more, so... Holger, surely you can apologize to Rowan. It cannot be so difficult. Apologize for what? Putting that... All right, you two, calm down. Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holger robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Huh. Rob disappointed word? Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I'll hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing? Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holgir stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was. Gripping a horsetail brush, slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. 
I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger, Rowan is clearly in the right. You sheared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do? May I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We are done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me Jesus. to pay you with a vibrant painting? Dear Lord. In some way you helped in its creation. Absolutely not. Silver is the only color I would see. <laughs> oh my god. He's still trying. Okay. Wait, what do we get in our inventory? Oh, a bunch of... Okay. Oh, wait. How much... How many raw materials do we have? We have 20, and that can't do anything. We're a little bit less than halfway. Let's talk to Ranvi. Can I... Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. You that okay? Olga. He is quite the character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He has no care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Yeah, as you should. Burrow. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulva sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Sven passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. Okay. Oh shit. Was he- He was the tattoo artist here.
Let's go see. Let's go talk to her. And we'll we'll return for the alliance map to see what's up. I need to get more um more stuff to actually build the uh, tattoo artist and whatnot. Where where that's a fish fishing hut. What is this? Cattle farm. I don't know. Tove. Eivor, it's Sven. He... He passed while I was away. Tove. I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty. Not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they're ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on. Determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know that you're valued. That was incredibly heartwarming. I'm sorry I was not here to see you off. Old friend, when I close my eyes, Sven, I see your designs on the arms of gods. Jesus, man. You know what? Just for this tragedy, we need to work on getting supplies to give her a house now. Oh my god. I hadn't been avoiding it, it's just not the most pressing thing. We're gonna we're gonna see what's next on the alliance map. Pledge ourselves to it, and then probably um, head to Asgard, maybe, unless something comes up. What's this? Ranvi's to-do list. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. Yeah, are you alright? Randvi, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now. But I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. 
There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grandebridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? I need you to relax a Randy, little bit. take a break. Let's make for Grandebridge Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Yes. Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not? Stretch your legs and fill your lungs. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Come then. Follow me. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Well, it's good to hear you're out and about. Hoping for some fun. Yeah. It's a nice night. Looks like one of those cool ones. It's funny how in video games you can just kind of like anticipate how it looks and feels. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? <laughs> to live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Okay, finally crossing the river. It's not that deep. It's okay. We're not gonna uh, interact with the zealot right now. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the summer army retreated when Grandebridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this site. Well, I'm glad you're making some memories. It's a great place to do it, too. Here we are. <laughs> and here we are. Welcome to Grandebridge. We should make our way to the longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. Yeah, mixes of cultures, but we're good. Welcome to the Longhouse. You come down. Hail! Well, 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 it's the day, boys. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. 
One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Ranvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Ranvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. <laughs> you know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodder. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have encamped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. All right, well, I can help you. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. Well, she's clamoring for adventure. Mm -hmm. The bandits are camped on a river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Ranvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. Ah. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. Keep going, you. Really? Who the hell said that? You're good to go. I don't know exactly where you're we're going, but All right. What's up? There, the bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon. <laughs> By all means. to do this in secret you seemed hot for a battle so here we go All right let's try to keep her safe didn't mean to do that I meant to do it for the Goliath oh no There we go. Make you and let's break his neck. I love that. Just scream at his dead corpse. There. That's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. Okay. Journal. Feel stronger already. You've been really active today, that huh? That was a thrill, Eivor. 
We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? <laughs> okay. You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At Her home, Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse, and if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Wait, where did, oh, this is... it's going to her. She's getting a little rowdy. Outside of town once, and uh, <laughs> she wants to take on the world, but I love that. That's, that's awesome. Admirable, even. All right, Magni, got your horse back. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Yep. Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Ranvi, wherever she is. Oh, she's she is not... here somewhere. Okay, she's not actually behind me. Over here. Look at this. Oh, she's found mead. Someone is thirsty. Are you what are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. <coughs> Wolfkist versus table maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than table maiden. Mead queen, then. All right, mead queen. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. It's your day. We'll give it to you. That pointed finger, the, the, the like half finger gun she gave me. <laughs> Ooh, shit, 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 shit. I kind of want to let her win. Cause she hasn't been out of the settlement like ever and she's having a fun ass time you have my and Magni just over there flirting with her ooh she's gonna win Go ahead. Ugh, any more and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come. We'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ugh, Ranvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already. Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. Listen to him flirt. Come on, girl. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunova described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. All right, sounds good to me. Which way are we at it? 
from here. All right, so we're gonna take the road around. Something. You and Soma, was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean, did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, oh? entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randy. If you must. Randy out here shipping people together. I think we're on the right track to where you wanted to go, girl. Yeah, we're getting closer. It's a gorgeous day. Look at this. We were out all night. And probably it will be until half the day. Is this it? Look there. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. <laughs> Just as beautiful as Sunuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built? Hundreds of winters. Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Oh shit, Lead okay. On. She wants to go to the top? <laughs> we can do that. Come on, girl. Keep up! Mind um, where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. <gasps> you climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Didn't mean to offend. She's gonna get up there before me just because of that. Well, well. Look at. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower and furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger. Free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding, or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. 
It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Ranvi? Hmm. I must have returned to the settlement. <sighs> All right, awesome. We have a new, <laughs> new love interest. Was that two days Ivor just got, or Avor just got laid in a row? All right, let's go home. We should probably very much keep this information away from Sigurd, although it doesn't really look like he's gonna come home anytime soon. So let's pledge ourselves to a place, and then I think when we return, we're gonna uh, go back to Asgard. What is the wolf doing on my bed? Hey, my boy. All right, fine. Fine, you can you can stay there. Good oh. day, my love. Good day. Ranvi, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you and our wonderful day. Nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, oh, indeed. Back to work then. Indeed? Oh my god. Oh, we're not doing that last one. <laughs> we're not doing that last one. Come to me. Aww. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. Oh. Took a couple of hours, okay. And now let's make a pledge. To get to. I want to see the Alliance map. We're gonna make the pledge now, but the we're gonna do the uh wait, what is this? Oh uh, we don't uh London Oxenefoldshire. Consult. What of Oxenefoldshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. Alright. She doesn't sound happy to talk about him. I mean, it makes sense, given the fact that he's gone a I lot of the time. I my brother, then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire. Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Alright. 
Sweet. All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. Uh, when we return, uh, we will go back to Asgard, and then after that, after that, I don't know how long that's gonna take. Uh, um, we will return here and go on with the real world. Real world. So I thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow.